everyone and welcome back. Thank you for tuning in to another video. My name is Wizzy. As most of you guys know, you guys that don't know that, thank you for tuning into the channel. Guys, we are two days from Christmas, which is absolutely awesome. But anyway, today what I'm going to be talking to you guys about is the new patch that has just been released within Black Ops 3 multiplayer. Alrighty guys, the new patch, so Triarch has released a new in-game settings update for Call of Duty Black Ops 3 on PS4 and Xbox One. The version number is 43.7.27.5. This new update includes weapon tuning, fixes for issues with flak jacket perk and more. Bonnaha has posted on Reddit the changes and all that sort of stuff. So I'm gonna read out what some of the changes are. Alrighty guys, so we're starting off with weapon tuning. So first up, we have the assault rifles. We have the XR2 with increased ADS aim stability, and we have increased recoil control. The, a, uh, the XR2 has had a lot done to it since it's been out in Black Ops 3, which is cool, but I reckon Bonaha should just leave it alone. <laughs> Next up, we have the ICR-1, increased ADS aim stability. Next up, we have the Shiva, increased ADS aim stability. So that's all for the assault rifles, guys. And then we have all the LMGs, increased ADS aim stability. They all got the exact same thing, which is really awesome. It's gonna make them heats more accurate. Next up, we have the snipers, Locus, increased ADS aim stability. Next up, we have the shotguns, KRM-262, increase lethal damage range next up we have the argus increased lethal damage range and then last but not least we have all the smgs reduce sprint out speed which i do not know what that means but that's a big nerf to the smgs reduce sprint out speed i don't know what that means like that may mean once you finish shooting and then you sprint again i'm not sure but that's a big nerf to the, um, um, the SMGs, it sounds like. All right, so first up, we have Rejack. Increase Rejack stand-up speed. I believe that is a nerf because you're taking longer to stand up. I think that's a nerf. I don't know if that's a buff or a nerf. If it's a nerf, then it'll take longer. If it's a buff, then it'll take shorter amount of time to get up off the ground when using Rejack. Next up, we have the Ripper. Reduced leftover specialist power when dying while active, which is also a nerf to the ripper and then in addition to those changes the update also includes fixes for, fl for flak jacket which was not working where you'll get a grenade hit next to you and if flak jacket just wasn't working like you'd still get blown up we got gi unit path fixes so the gi unit was getting stuck and all that sort of stuff cog caster bug fixes collision issues fixed dark matter can camo can only be applied to black market weapons if you have diamond unlocked for that weapon but you do not need diamond on black market weapons to get dark matter. So guys, what this is saying is that you can't apply it to all those new weapons like the wrench and all that sort of stuff unless you have them diamond. I believe that's what it's saying. I'm not too sure about that one. But anyway, that is all the patch updates and all that sort of stuff. That's what came out in the patch. So if you guys have enjoyed the video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below of all the updates and patches. Make sure to check out my channel for recent Black Ops 3 videos, news, information, live comps, all that sort of stuff. Thank you for watching once again. Hope you guys all have an awesome day and I'll see you guys in my next.